Good evening and welcome back to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us. When we left off last time, we finished episode 3. So here we are, about to hop right into episode 4 in sheep's clothing. Alright, now it looks like Bluebeard is going to feature prominently here. So we've arrested Crane. Snow doesn't think he's the murderer. We encountered Bloody Mary, who claims he's also not the murderer. And I've been thinking for a couple episodes now, he's not the murderer. If you can't afford to look human... You're going to the All right, park. this is just our recap. Simple as that. But even though he's not the murderer, he's got some ideas of what's going on. He knew to take I a ring to the, the girls of the pudding pie. Apes. He knows that their ribbons keep Cream them from being able to speak. So, oh, I wonder if we can get the shard from the Enjoy magic mirror from him. Or, oh, I bet if we'd gone to Crane's apartment, the shard would probably have been there. for me last time, too. So I totally missed out on that one. How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are. We did totally wolf out last tell episode, me, and me, we killed Tweedledum. No, you know. I don't think he did it. And I think it was the Look right decision. Do you really think this man murdered? He was a bad women? person. He threatened us with guns. He's obviously a shady character, hanging around with the crooked man, some kind of enforcer, like blackmailing people. They're not. He and his brother are not good people. Bugs for hire, but. No, I'm not going to feel bad that we cleared him out. He was a danger to all the other fables. But, you know. Just this chick. Take him, okay? I want to rematch take with her. Crane. Well, this is a beautiful. And she's got Woody's axe, so we really need to find Woody, figure really? out what that's all about. That. Other than that, I don't think we have too much. I mean, we know about Crooked Man is obviously important. With the new. Long with the queen. So I'm feeling like right now, it could be beneficial. We need to check out the pudding and pie some more. We need to figure out what's going on with the girls' ribbons. We need to also maybe head back to the Tweedle's office and see if we can find any sort of address for the crooked man. And then... Oh, what do we got here? It's looking all right here. Not too terribly beat this, huh? Um... Our, yeah? Is that all from him? This must be some kind of dream. See you around. Yeah, she's gonna take the axe. All us. point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Sorry, Doc. Try not to move. Yeah. Oh, baby. Um, we can't keep meeting this way, old boy. Could we maybe set the arm? Well, I guess the silver's more important. I figured I'd be important. done before you were conscious. But there's little I can do for the mm. pain. Just stay still and let me finish. Swineheart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't Yeah, don't move. move your arm. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged setting his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, this doc's a tough fella. Okay, well, I guess we're gonna then. This will be a bit gruesome. Oh, and Colin's here. Uh, really, Big B, we couldn't just sweet and leave it alone? Ugh. I've never broken a bone, but I imagine it's probably incredibly painful. My sister broke her arm once um, when we were little. She was roller skating out on the road. She fell, and it just kind of, like, dipped right in the middle where it was supposed to be straight. It looked horrible. Hmm. Not bad. I'm positive it hurt a ton. I couldn't he imagine trying to set alive. your own bone. And it won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. Well, sorry, Doc. There's stuff that. going on. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This <sighs> is the job. Quiet. Just <laughs> relax. <sighs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. 
What, you I, got something I think you I should say stay. in private? At least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so if you wouldn't mind. No, she can hang around. Stick around, all right? I don't know if I trust this guy. Oh, please, I can do this <laughs> with my optic nerves severed. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. What, do you have something burning you need to say to me without her present? Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. Okay, good. She's it's still finished in the when room. it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in 10 minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. Oh, With what? Your hooves? I'm not going to hey, say anything because all these options are mean, and um, I appreciate Colin being here. He called me a friend. Come on. I tried to eat him in the past, but now he's there. my buddy. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time, this time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. All right, I got it, I got it. Miss White. You'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He nope. knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. Oh, we gotta get to the bottom of this. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. This is awful He'll kind that the rest, doctor cares so much, too. Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Come on. <laughs> Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White, Sheriff, Colin. Swiney. <laughs> so, how do you, um, Feel. Well, it's Big B Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I we'll seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See, strong as an oak, this guy. Yeah. Although, legitimately, I do understand we shouldn't push dead. things too hard. I don't want him to die. And neither does Snow. Oh. You, uh, you stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or. Or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. Aww. I've never seen you like that. And when Swineheart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were, I don't know, it was just awful. Snow, I'd never leave you. Yeah, you were really fucked up, Colin. You look like when you take an action <laughs> figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin. I'm just saying, I was worried She's about him as all. Spoiled the moment. I hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? We're doing the best we can. And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? We won't let him take over. Man. Bloody Mary, the Tweedles. This is bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, mm. if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying. That's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm going to let Bloody Mary just murder it. It was a split-second decision, and I don't care how it looked. Fair enough. Make it again and twice on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. I'd rather we didn't no give problem. up Crane, but I can't fault thanks. her for that choice. You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? I'm not taking it out on oh, Snow. Oh, that the crooked man thinks he's got Snow under his thumb. We're all mad about it, Colin. Of yeah. course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? 
I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? Mm, I do How care about the victims, but... Been going on? You know, I couldn't really give a shit what they want out of this. They just made the wrong fucking enemy. <sighs> Actually, I Remember do care what, what they want out of this, okay? but... We're cleaning up this town. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. Oh, it sure feels but like it, so I yeah. This war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. Yeah. What does that mean? The right way. What do you Okay, think that's a good I question, mean? but I don't know. But it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. You can't give him a leash. He doesn't work that way. <laughs> a little restraint and thought behind things will never hurt anyone, Colin. Yeah. Wait, what do you mean? What is this? Uh, I didn't really right want to question way. her. We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. She's right. She's right. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. Nope. By the book. Mm -mm. Straight as an arrow. No, that's not how you Pure clean it up, Snow. Is driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of... Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into... It can't happen again. If it has to, it we has to. Monsters. That is not the problem. We'll fight monsters. Colin, yeah. I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice. Then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. We are not helping this town as it stands. Everyone that we run across, we failed. Even Beauty, we failed. And she's someone who lives in the woodlands with the favored few. It's not working, Snow. It's not working, so we gotta try something different that does work. And cut and dried by the book is nice to say, but if we're the only two playing by it, it means we're gonna lose. If I need to wolf out to get this town in line, I need to wolf out. Town, just let that side of you be done, okay? No. You were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Snow. Degrees? I only ever do what's necessary. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why it Karen was necessary, out and I necessary. will. And I don't want to be at odds with her, and I hate if this spoils the romance, but you can't let up until the fight is finished. He was, he was still he a, threat, was a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure, I'm not going to feel Look bad about me. it. I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap, like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower. Uh -huh. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be <laughs> Such a Dick Club. But this is the wrong fucking time to put shackles on him. That's right. Well, at least someone understands. Thanks, Colin. So, so we're in over done. our heads. Just let him do it. We're dealing with I'm something bigger to... than ourselves. I'm going to let you do it, okay? I gotta stop again. I appreciate where she coming. She's coming from. I get this. This is, this is against her morals. This is this is compromising her stand on how she wants to do things, and I understand that. But where am I? I'm at right now. It's not working. So that's not what we're doing. We are gonna do whatever it takes to get this solved. We're gonna figure out who murdered these girls and why. We're gonna bust all of the seediness and the deception wide open. We're gonna clear out the, the nasty elements from town and then if she wants to do things by the book after that and take every, care of everyone prim and proper and by the rules, fantastic. I am all about that. She'll do an awesome job at it and I'll stand behind her and I'll be the proper sheriff who follows her rules. Once we've cleaned out all these major players that have been destroying this town up until this point, she said, we're in the middle of a war. Let's win the war and then we'll see about straightening things up. It's just that now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What nope. situation? Collins, my All buddy. All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you going to let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Collins. It is, That's but... Not. I'm not enforcing it until yes, we clean up the farm, will. too. 
It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. I got it. There's just so much going on I gotta comment on. We haven't seen the farm, but Colin obviously is our friend, and he said it's a crappy place. And seeing how bad Fable Town's doing, and that's supposed to be preferable to the farm? Yeah, I imagine the farm is something of a hellhole. That's what I'm betting. And so I'm not going to force Colin to go and live there. If he's a sneaky enough pig to make his way through the city and nobody sees him when he comes to visit me, fine. He gets to visit me. Things got to change, Snow. Things got to change. Until we know exactly what's going on with the farm, until we've seen it for ourselves and made sure that it's actually a decent place for these fables to be, I'm not going to enforce the rule and make them be there. If they don't want to be there, they don't want to be there. I'm not going to... I'm not going to tell them you have to go live off in this... Basically, that's it's like a prison camp if you do it that way. No. If they don't want to live on the farm, if they want to live with other people in Fable Town, then we, part of her government and making things right, is we got to find a way to make that happen. And maybe part of the first step is anti-green tree and more affordable glamours. Or maybe it's... Maybe we could, like, glamour a building and have a special spot within Fable Town that we keep them so they can still interact with everybody, just not go out into the city. I mean, we got to come up with something different than the farm, because obviously it's not working. Wolf's residence. That's rude. <laughs> oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Mm? Nerissa. Nerissa? Oh, fantastic. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yeah, we want to talk to yes. her. Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. Well, let's and get to it. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. No. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. No, she knows she something. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. Guys, she knows so much information. We've got to investigate this ribbon thing. Clothes. It's going to drive me nuts until the game Consider gives the me that option. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let you know you table whatever you want, Snow. Aye, aye, Captain. All right, Colin, I'm just going to go do my thing. Of work. Hey, you're not really going to send me to the farm, are you? No. I mean, she seemed real serious about it. Too bad. Oh, good. Maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend. No, Colin. Big B, we're not. Wouldn't do that to you. We got to worry about it. It's not a few get sent Thanks, up. It's Big we got to change things. You chose friendship over the rules. Well, the rules aren't working, so yep, that's the choice I'm making. That's a cool picture. Okay, Nerissa, I'm really excited to talk to her. We just have to figure out how to make it so she can tell us what she wants to say. Now I will say, like this compared to Walking Dead, I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed Walking Dead. The story was fantastic, it's a great game, but I think I actually like this a little more. I'm the big bad wolf. It's awesome. I love these reimaginings of, of stories that are familiar to me. We fought Bloody Mary. It's, I, I, I'm kind of head over heels with this. I just, the premise, I'm all about post-apocalypse. Zombie apocalypse, that's my kind of thing. But, but this premise just wins out. This, this is solid. I love this. Look at Hi, me. Sheriff. The Little Mermaid has come to talk to us. Come on. Hi, Nerissa. How can you not love that? Have a seat. Yes. Poor gal. Give your legs a break. I... Um... Are you okay? Oh, she's concerned. You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be... Don't be fooled by 
This. I didn't get the worst of it. <coughs> Puffin Puffs. Well, not many people smoke those. Oh, what have you got? Chorette? Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. I do. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work, huh? It's the ribbon, baby. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? Look at the hand, Bigby. She just touched the ribbon. You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. You're here because the crooked man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. Yep. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Mm. Is this making any sense? Are you trying to say something about Faith and Lily? What I'm saying is friends matter, and I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. I'm sorry, Nerissa. I'm sorry. I don't get what you're saying. I thought I could do this. Don't give up. I need you to know. I want to help, I but... know. But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm sorry if I'm wasting your time. No, please keep trying. I thought I knew how to say it. That's okay. Ribbons. Faith wore one too. Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? How can I? It's a tool to keep you stuck in that life. Subservient. That's why you can't tell me anything. Aha, it's finally. The ribbon, isn't yes, it, it is. If I take it off, will it kill her? Be careful, Bigby. Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! It'll kill her. It'll kill her if we take it off. You can't do that! Okay. Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Don't. No, I won't. It'll kill her if we take it off. We gotta find another way. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons... If you take them off... I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. If anyone finds out I came here, that's probably Snow. We'll find well, out listen. first, Bigby. Sheriff, can you keep this conversation between us? Yeah. I could be in a lot of trouble. 
I shouldn't be talking to you. What are you worried about? Just... Please, don't say anything. All right. Snow, don't freak out. Sorry, I just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. How many snowflake printed Maybe blouses does she have? The office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. Hey! I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Oh, wait, you don't have to go. It's okay, Snow. This is good. That was... abrupt. Don't worry about it. There's a reason. One way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off? No. Or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay, then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Absolutely. Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? That's what Nerissa was doing, telling us to go there. I think she made it as clear as she could have. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. Yeah, and she said you sent her away. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Crooked man. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the crooked man, do you? Yep. That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. All right. You are deputy mayor. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and look at our book of fables before we wind down the episode. What's our new entries? Okay. Ring of Dispel, the Arthurian Band. Reputed to be fashioned by a Byzantine clan in an attempt to ward off a coven of witches, the Ring of Dispel, or Dispelling Ring, or Magic Cancelling Ring, eventually was given to Lancelot by the Lady in the Lake. Wait. Is Green Tree the Lady in the Lake? Is that a connection I was supposed to make and did not? Recovered by the business office after the emigration to New Amsterdam, it was assigned to Greenleaf for caretaking. Oh no, it was assigned to her, so it wasn't... She wasn't the lady, it wasn't hers. All right. Bloody Mary, the urban legend. The true history of the person known as Bloody Mary is almost completely unknown, even to fables most acquainted with its members. Her name, Mary, at least, is not up for contention, nor is her penchant for shocking violence, an inlaid resistance to magic and spells, and a strange ability to use any reflective service, surface as a portal, effectively shortcutting space and time. Fought by Mundy's to be the wailing apparition of a childless ghost, though any evidence of that is as yet unseen. Oh, is that what she's about? I thought she was supposed to be after Mary, Queen of Scots. Huh. Silver bullets, wolf's weakness. The legends of great and magical wolves often make mention of their weakness against weapons made of silver, and those tales bear out to be true. The silver bullet Mary shot Bigby with was not the first, but any of them could be his last. Any silver left in Bigby's body weakens his system, slows his healing, and can cause long-term damage. Acting Deputy Snow White. With Ichabod Crane firmly out of the picture and King Cole still absent, where is King Cole? The task of leading Fabletown falls squarely on Snow's shoulders. She has performed many of the job's duties for a long time, picking up the slack for Crane. But now that she's fully in charge of the business office, she has to deal with a new level of politicking that she had not previously been exposed to. Oh, that was a picture of the farm. Life on the farm. With its idyllic location and managed community, the farm would seem to be a welcome alternative to eking out an existence in Fabletown. But those who have lived there see it very differently. They see it for what it is, a prison, a place where you are free to be who you are and do whatever you please, except leave. It doesn't help that while fables who appear human do not have to worry about being sent to the farm, they always seem to fill the leadership roles there. Uh-huh. Yeah, we're not gonna we're not gonna be sending people to the farm. Alright, so we'll wind the episode down there. 
Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed this. Come back next time. We'll see what Beauty and the Beast have to say.